Hello again, this is Kelly and welcome back to my channel. I've been doing some more writing and I've decided to ask specific questions and channel them and see what I get back. I do write down everything that I get, unless it's personal. I, obviously, if it's personal, it's between me and my imagination, if that's what it is. So I have asked the question, what lies behind the Arctic Wall? It's not something I've really thought about, to be fair. It's something I've been asked to do. It's not something I've ever thought of, really, because we just live within our Earth and, and we, sometimes we think, are there other planets out there? Are there other frequencies? And I think, personally, I think we live in a multidimensional realm. I don't know if the earth is flat or round or I don't know. I, I just do not know. I don't really care because we already know we've been lied to about everything. But what I'm trying to discover during this work is, am I lying to myself? So I do channeling because it's something I started to do about three years ago. And I just love doing it. It's fun. It's helped me with my own thoughts my own emotions it's made me look at the world in a different way and made me look at my own self in a different way as well i try not to have any preconceived ideas about what the truth is because we are lied to on every side there's deception even in so-called goodness um i know that you know, like when it comes down to spirituality and religion and things, we get lied to from that side as well. So it's important to not wear a belief system, I think. And I think we should personally try and keep our minds open and be able to upgrade ourselves, if you like, by not holding on to dogmas and beliefs that are passed down to us. Because I don't believe that it's all the truth. I think there's truth in everything. But I think they're all sprinkled with lies. And so <clears throat> I, I just want to know what the truth is. And it's a process of finding out. And it's like peeling off layers to get to there. So this is what I've wrote. This is what I downloaded yesterday. And I wrote it. And I'm going to put this on in the um, today. So what lies behind the Arctic Wall? And this is the answers that I got. <clears throat> what lies behind the Arctic Circle are lots of planes similar to yours. They are operational on different levels as lots of people go there during their transitions. Sadness on Earth is only there on the 3D and lower dimensions. The lower dimensions are what you would call hell. You are only one step away from hell on plain earth. This is why it's important to higher your vibrations because you can escape the hell realms. The hell realms are there to remind you of what you do to yourself. A loving open heart can only be put in hell by suffering from other people and events and from what they carry. But do not liken that hell to the other realms to transition to the other realms in hell you must have lost your love empathy and compassion if you feel upset right now because you are in a self-imposed hell or you are there at the behest of somebody else then worry not this is just temporary your intentions and your ability to love through your suffering will help you either come back here in your cyclic existence or transcend you to a higher level or another realm. Remember the plane you are on is one of free will. That means you are at the mercy of the archons, who you describe as demons. They can inflict pain and suffering on you. That does not mean that you have to take it in your psyche and lower yourself to that level. You are in a war zone that gives each party their own way. You can boldly stand up and say no, whoever you are. You are so sad and empty inside because your golden light gets crushed here. If you can manage to walk in your truth, 
and stand up and not conform to the darkness that surrounds you, then you do not need to worry about where you are going next. On your plane, you have walkings. They are the archons. They take over empty vessels and those who are temporarily incapacitated by alcohol and drugs, etc. <clears throat> the walkings use people like sock puppets. <laughs> Unbeknown to the vessel, they are the ones who stalk you and harass you because they hate shiny people. The people they use are not aware that they are being used because they think they have self-control and their thoughts and actions are their own. Your plane is a difficult one to navigate because you need to be in control of your senses and able to see what's around you. You are not in hell per se, in your plane, like some of the others, but it's a mixture of heaven and hell, and it's all rolled out into one. We appreciate the difficulties you face here, but you are there to support yourself. We, sorry, we are there to support you if you ask. This is also only a stopgap, a school if you like. Remember that you chose to come back here, but also be aware that some of you did not. Because you are so far removed from your truth that you are easily led back here by your own ignorance. You can figure out that this is just a game played by the Archons to keep you in a low frequency so they can manipulate and deceive you. You can go to the other planes if you Uber ride to the stars. In other words, you go where you believe you will go. <clears throat> planes on the other side of the Arctic wall are plum orchards. They play a big part in the evolution of humans. You can transcend to these places after you go to your guides after your death. The other planes are different to yours. In the 3D dimension where you are, you see a spectrum of limited colours and your earth has so little colour and your sounds are limited also. Sounds are just vibrations and vibrations in your realm are not used or tapped into properly, although they have been previously by your ancestors. This explains the pyramids and plant life that no longer exists. Prior to the Archon's arrival, you played a very different role here on plain earth, playing music that healed and prolonged life. You danced and sang and celebrated your existence here. You had the technology to build mega buildings and the artistry and skills to mould, design and create the most magnificent architecture. You got no illness or struggle because you're, you golden lighted each other and you were safe and happy. The Archons slowly took over and uh, uh, they are at the point of no return. But we've got this. So please do not fret. You've got this also. Log out of your watchtowers and go and live the life you dream of. It can be done, but you must walk through the fear as well. And you've got to lose the chains of your own self-imposed suffering. Many planes lie on the other side of the wall. Places you could not imagine. Your governments bearded themselves to go there. One place in particular can only be got to by UFO, which are mostly military, although not all of them are. The transportation in other planes are so far advanced from yours that in some you can navigate your craft by thought alone. The technology far surpasses yours. However, this is not always the best thing for your realm because you misuse it. The military use it wrongly. They use it to kill. In other planes it is used to enhance life and make it better. You have bought the wrong type of technology here. It is used to maim and destroy their own people. The technology itself is neither positive nor negative. It's the intentions it's used for and how it's phased out. For example, 5G is not, a, is not good for human creatures. 
lower planes are using 5G because they've got no soul like yours. Their vibrations are different to yours, so it is not harmful to them. Your military take your government officials to all the other places and they spy on them. They make deals with them and bring back their technology. However, the deals they make are lies on your side because the people on the other planes would never allow clusters of bombs to drop on innocent lives. They are angry with us here on Earth. They got mistreated by your plane and slowly they are warring back with you, which means they have the capacity to neutralise your 5G systems and more technology to ride over yours. Trust us when we tell you this. Your plane cannot be warmongering any longer. During World War I and World War II, they stopped many bombs from dropping. They can come here any time they like to visit plain Earth. There's so many portals in and out of the seas and the mountain ranges. You're going to implode with the truth because it will set you free. The Uber riders are there ready to take you on a plane to another realm. You are going to go there in your sleep to see where you go next time. There is so much to this subject, it's such a vast storyline, it's difficult to put into one small segment the magnitude of what lies behind your plane. Sorry, beyond your plane. When bold moves are made, you will go there yourselves one day. Take this last piece of the story today and re render it useful. What lies beyond here? is so blossom-lined avenues and orchards filled with fruit you have never seen or tasted, the most delicious fruit that you could ever imagine. Purple skies and lots of gentle people that approach you with open arms and the magnificent buildings that you create with your own thoughts that gold finger themselves to your heads. Your imaginations can play out like a child and create the most incredible boats, shops, houses, and your playground is your thoughts. So you get to decide how you live, how you look. The only thing you cannot do is play other people's parts for them. So you must never force your dreams or wants onto other people. Else this begins the slow descent to misery, like you on on earth. Play your golden light here and you could get there the next time. Your imagination is your plant pot. Use it wisely. And that's what I got from that. Um, I'm going to go into this subject more because it's really interesting. There, there is a lot uh, to ask about this. So I'm going to keep asking about what's on the other side because, well, it, it is interesting. Um, I've got quite a few stories of my own that I might talk about in the future as well. But for now, I'm going to leave that one there. But if you've got any questions you want me to ask Hillmon, then I will put it to him and I will be honest in what I get back. So if the answer is I got nothing or it was just very weak or it was all lies or whatever, then that's something. The one thing that I've never done, and I'm not confident to do is personal readings yet. I have been told things about my own personal life that hasn't come to fruition. It well, it some of it has, and some of it hasn't yet. And so I'm not confident about doing personal readings until I get to a point where I know that I'm not being lied to about my own self. If what I've been told about me comes true, then I will have the confidence to do personal reads for other people because I don't like deceiving people and I don't want to mislead anyone. And I know that I, I went to see somebody recently for a tarot read and she was channeling me and she actually picked up that I was a channeler without me saying anything. So that was really fun. So she had abilities but she's told me something that hasn't come to pass yet. So again, sometimes you've got to wait down the line to see if something's right or not. But 
I'm going to do some more writing and I'll put some more videos on. If you have got any questions, please drop me a line and I'll have a go and I'll get back to you next time. So bye bye for now.